Hey everyone, and welcome to Insight Tuesday. And we're gonna go ahead and get started in a few minutes. I am gonna go ahead and share my screen shortly and give those who are not here a chance to join us today. So let me just take a few minutes to set things up here. And if you are watching live, I want you to go ahead and let me know where you're watching me from. Let me know in that chat where you are streaming me from. Where are you watching me from? As we wait for others to join, I'm gonna give everyone about 20 more seconds and then I'm gonna go ahead and start. All right, I'm going to start in five seconds. All right. All righty, and I'm going to go ahead and start. So for today's Insight Tuesday, and for those that never been here before, Insight Tuesday is a time to actually share something related to the RHIA on this channel for free. I know studying can be very stressful, and it's nice to have some type of assistance. And so this is my time to give out some free advice. So for today's Insight Tuesday, I wanted to tackle a topic that I think every single person should be thinking about when they are preparing for the RHIA. And the question that I, that I think every single person should have when they're preparing for this exam is this question. And the question is, have a plan. Yes, it sounds great to get your letters. It sounds great to be able to use that to apply for jobs. But in order to earn this certification, it's not just learning the content, but also having a plan on how you're gonna actually tackle the exam. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go through quickly in this 15 minutes that I have with you, some of the things that you need to consider as you are preparing for this exam. All right, so moving on here to the next slide. What I have is a picture of, of a girl. And as you can see, this is a lot of people that prepare or are tr trying to attempt to take this exam. What happens is they're excited about taking this exam. They want to take this exam, but they have no idea when they're going to take it. They have no idea, you know, how they're going to study. They don't know their resources. They really don't have a plan really at all when it comes to how they're going to pass and tackle this exam. And that is one of the biggest mistakes you can make when you're preparing for the RHIA exam because you're gonna be more successful when you have a plan laid out in front of you. So what are some things, some pointers that you want to have in the back of your head as you're preparing for this exam? Number one, you need to pick a test date. And we're gonna talk about that some more. Number two, you need to determine your study resources. Everyone has different ways of studying different tools, different um, tactics to pass. You need to find what works for you. And three, you need to have a study schedule. Okay, so let's, let's talk about this further. First off, picking a test date. When you're picking a test date, the reason why this is important is because you need to have a date to work towards. If I were taking my RHIA exam and I had no test date in mind, then you can always find yourself saying, hey, I don't feel ready right now, but it's okay because I'll just take it in the next two months. And then two months pass by and like, oh, well, it's fine. You know what? I'll take it next month. And what happens is people continue to push their test date forward and they never end up taking it. And then two years later, time has passed and they have no idea where they really stand with taking the exam. That is why you need to make sure that you pick a test date. The thing about picking a test date is once you have one selected, you're going to find yourself studying differently to meet that time, that test date that you pick. So my tip here is, as you're picking a test date, please, please be realistic with yourself. Be honest with yourself. Are you someone 
after taking a pretest, are you someone who for the most part had a good handle on the content? Yes, if that's the answer, then it may be okay to take the exam in the next month. If you took the exam and you didn't really do too well, then picking or deciding to take the exam in the next month would not be a smart idea, right? You need to be honest with yourself. So picking that test date is going to require you to be honest, be realistic with yourself. And from there, having some type of benchmark that you're trying to aim for, that is key. Pick a date, pick a time that works for you, and then you'll find yourself automatically studying to meet that test date. Now, I do have students that pick test dates and they're studying and they realize, Juliet, I need more time. And that is okay. For those that don't know that are watching, AHIMA will allow you, if you do this on time, they will allow you to actually change your test date. So if you find yourself getting closer and closer to your you know, testing date and you're like, you know what, I don't feel ready, contact Ahima Pearson, let them know, and they will let you change your date. So they may have you pay to change it depending on when the actual test date is per se, but that's better than failing the exam and then having to take it all over again, right? And paying the full amount of money. So when I say pick a test date, please be, be honest with yourself, be realistic. And from there, pick that date so that you can study based off of the date that you selected. It, it is a game changer, okay? Picking that test date. Second point I had here was figuring out the resources that you're going to be using. Now, there are a lot of resources out there that you can use, but the two that every single person should be using, regardless of any other external sources out there, are the ones on the screen. Every single person should be using the health informatic, sorry, health information management concepts, principles, and practice book for studying for this exam. I call it the HIM Bible. And the reason why is because the, the big bulk of the exam is based off of this book. Now, there are some things, to be honest, that are not in this book that are tested, but a lot of it comes from this book. So anyone and everyone should be using this book as they're preparing for the exam. Also, I have on the screen the RHIA exam preparation book from AHIMA. It is a book of questions. Every single person, regardless of any external tools that you use, should be applying this book to their study plan. If you have not answered the questions in this book, you have no business going to the testing center. So make sure that you purchase this book. Now the additions can change. So make sure that if you're watching this a few years later from today, it may be a different edition, but whatever the latest edition is, make sure that you have that book so that you are aware of the type of questions that you'll see. And by type of questions, I mean the formatting, the topics, they give you a good idea of what to expect, okay? So these are the two main ones. Now, if you're looking at these books and you've started using them and you're like, okay, this is great, but I still need more assistance. I still need more guidance out there. There are plenty of programs um, out here, a lot of exam prep, you know, uh, um, flashcards and 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 study guides and all these things out here that are available. For those that would like to use my resources that have been proven to be successful, um, I do have obviously courses. I have on-demand courses that are going to assist those that are looking for some type of um, comprehensive exam preparation, okay? So there are videos, they're recorded, just like I'm talking to you right now. I would be speaking on these videos and you can watch them at your own time and learn the concepts that you need to know to pass the RHIA exam. So I do provide that. I have them here on the screen for you guys. I'm not gonna dabble too long on this, but just know that these are just some things that I have available. Check out the website, 
www.riaessential.com to see all that we have available for RIA prep. But like I said, there are a lot of resources out there. Find what works for you. It may be me. It may not be me. But if it's not me, make sure that you're at least using these two things on the screen right now because everyone should be using this if they intend on passing the exam. Okay. So make sure that you have these books in your hands, in your like on your desk. If you are going to be taking this exam, you need them. All right. Now, the next thing I wanted to talk about that I mentioned earlier on was having a study schedule. You need to have a study schedule if you are going to be successful on this exam. Now, I did make a video on my channel. I'm not going to go into the whole thing of what I said, but if you watch this video, it's on the channel, how to create your RIA or RHIA study schedule. Check it out. It's only a minute and 30 seconds, and it's going to let you know and educate you on how to make your study schedule because your study schedule may not look like someone else's. Your study schedule should be based off of your availability. It should be based off of you know, when your actual test date is. So some students may be taking their exam in the next two weeks. And because of that, they may find themselves studying a lot more than someone who's given themselves three or four months to study, right? So everyone's going to have their own, you know, spot when it comes to studying. So you need to figure out and pick and create your own study schedule. So if you need help, once again, on or just want more details on how to make your own, you know, customized schedule for yourself, check out this video. It is on this channel, all right? Health IT Playground. All right. So outside of that, just some final words here before we close. We do have a weekly RHIA question series. So for those that are, once again, planning to take this exam and they are looking for practice questions because they've run out of them, which happens to all of us, happened to me too. We do have questions available. So you can go ahead and follow us on Medium, the, on the Medium platform, and you can gain access to our weekly questions. Medium will charge you a fee to access those questions, FYI. Fees will apply. But once you become a member, you'll have access to that exclusive content, okay? And if you wanna find it, the link to those medium questions will and can be found in the description of this video. All right, and that is all that I had for today. Hopefully that helped you guys to kind of think about and ponder about what it is that you need to plan for or think about as you are trying to take this exam. Do you actually have a plan, okay? Do you have a plan? I don't want you guys looking like this girl, confused, just kind of going with the flow, just kind of studying, not studying, not really having any sense of direction. I want you guys to study smart, not hard. And just to end this off, the best way to do that, once again, is to one, pick a test date. And when I say pick a test date, actually schedule the exam, physically pay, pay Pearson, schedule and pay for your exam, okay? So that it will become reality and you won't play around anymore. Pick and schedule a test date, determine your study resources, check us out. We have great resources, FYI, and create a study schedule and stick to it, okay? Stick to it. And that's all that I have for today. Um, once again, if you have any topics or anything that you want me to cover for Insight Tuesday, please let me know in the description, or not description, but in the comment section, rather, of this video, and I'll be sure to review them. And I will see you guys once again for another Insight Tuesday happening every single Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. So I will end the live here. Before I close, does anyone have any questions for me? Just want to make sure if there's anyone here live that has a question, please let me know and I will do my best to answer. I'll give you guys a few seconds 
If not, I will go ahead and close this live. Any questions for me? Going once, going twice. Okay, I don't see any questions. Okay, so in that case, I will go ahead and close the live. You guys have a great week and I will see you guys next week for our next Insight Tuesday. One.